Hello, today I have a special guest here for you. Can you see him? Or her? Can you see her? No? Well, look here. <laughs> scratching, <laughs> scratching her neck. <laughs> yes, we have our Goldilocks. Here, Goldilocks. Oh no. You know, cats always start to lick their private parts when somebody is looking or talking about them. It's, it's just like a cat law. I'm going to keep this video very short today because yesterday I uploaded three videos and I don't want you to drown in my lectures. And I think today the pink personality is prevailing, so the mistress is temporarily dormant, perhaps. It's until I read your emails, I guess. And, um, you know, I got some uh, interesting comments from you under the videos saying that you want the old Lena back and that you're not happy with what I'm doing. And uh, can I know why you're not happy? What is behind this comment? What do you mean? What, what do you lack? because the old Lena and this Lena is the same person. It's just different thoughts and ideas that I'm sharing with you. What are you not happy with and what are you missing? What are you not getting from me? And I'd like you to criticize me when, whenever you want because it makes me grow and develop and make this training program better. So don't write in the comments that you're just not happy full stop, but explain your point of view and I will gladly reconsider my teaching methods to communicate to a wider audience perhaps. Although on the other hand, on the black Mistress Lena hand, the Queen says that the way she does things is her own way and the way she prefers to do them and whoever doesn't like it tough because she's going to do it the way she likes to do it and she likes to do it the way that concentrates more on the theoretical side of this whole dynamic and not on the physical side because I don't particularly appreciate when people waste their time and tissues winking on my videos I'm sorry for the language, but it's true. What do I gain or how do I grow? How do you grow from, from that sort of activity? So that's why there are no more boots, talkings and mistress language, as you call it. Why? It's still me, but I just don't want you to be blinded by the shell and look more into the core. Hope that is understood. And uh, the question was, what is my weakness and how you could help me with my weakness? My weakness is not being able to see the point of view of other people. Not even the point of view, but I don't see that other people think differently and I assume that everybody else has a Lena brain and Lena soul and thinks exactly like Lena, but you know, it's not true, of course, and I know it's not true, but I tend to forget that from time to time. So, the way you could help me to deal with this weakness is by sharing your point of view and sharing your thoughts and showing me that other people think differently, and I like to learn that because I am interested in people, particularly in you because you are already connected to me and we are establishing some sort of relationship between us. And the second question, how did you start your journey into spirituality, health and and this? What is the, what did I <laughs> Health and maybe exercise? Sometimes my handwriting is unclear. How did I start the journey into spirituality? Well, when I was born on the 25th of May, some years ago, <laughs> that's when the journey started. And uh, it never ended, and, and same goes for the rest of us. Our lifetime is our journey, we learn all the time, we develop all the time. Just some of us choose to develop in one way and some of us choose to develop in the other way. 
So it's not something that I can control or force, but it is something that I can make room for, for time to think about things that are not only what am I going to have for lunch and who I'm going to watch the movie with on the weekend. And, uh, yeah, spirituality. I don't like the word spirituality because I associate it with weird women who say things that don't make sense and uh, don't brush their hair and wear baggy clothes and say that they're spiritual and when you ask them something they look at you with this dreamy look out of this world and that is scary. I'd say that maybe it's the wrong perception of spirituality but that's what I have encountered sometimes. <laughs> so, not spirituality but self-growth, exploration, let's just, just call it normal words like exploration, research, life, and the ways of life and what we could improve, what we could learn from, from this big space and from the other us, from the other me, which is you, and the other you, which is me. Health. Health of just seeing a journey into health. <laughs> journey into health. Well, of course, I used to go to bed at like 4 a.m. and, and um, probably not lead the healthiest lifestyle. But it all reflects. And when you look in the mirror and you see the changes that happen with age, and when you analyze your own behavior, you think like, hold on, I don't want this to happen. So you try to reverse and change your habits. It's a, it's a natural process, a gradual process. Nothing happens overnight. But to maintain yourself in good health, it's like um, saving the money in the bank. But the bank is you, and you're saving this health for the older age. <laughs> That's the journey of healthy lifestyle and exercising and um, yoga and so on. Have a good day. For today, I will see you tomorrow.